there's only Southampton, only Southampton, and then two weeks break, where all the players are around the world, and that's that's pretty difficult. Um, and um, so hopefully they all, hopefully, we have uh, a good squad, a good lineup um, for for uh, Southampton because of course it was um, intensive yesterday again, and um, so we, we we need to to figure out who who will be available who is in who is in best shape who can play the southampton game and then hopefully they all come back healthy and that's that's pretty important there are two very important games now for the national teams because it's a, yeah i think the last test before the squads will be made for the um for the european championship zone yeah, it's an intensive time for for the players, and hopefully we 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 have all them available for the rest of the season. There was a really lot of games between, um, and so I have not the. Well, maybe I'm too old. Um, I forget things like this, um, but um, I don't think it's too important. So um, Southampton, I've, we played there. Um, okay, it was a perfect result for us. It was a perfect night with a bad start, blah blah blah. But um, it was especially it was a nice stadium, nice surrounding, so, um, and um, yeah, everything will be prepared for a good football game. Two good sides. Southampton is a really good side, and um, uh, we know about this. So we have to be yeah, at 100 percent to to get something there. And if we want to win there, um, then we have to be really, really good. And uh, so that's all we have to know. So we have to use these two days, um, two days left until the game, and then. We have to start again.